Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to install WordPress on a Server 2016 local box. Uh, the uh, easiest way to do that is with the Microsoft Web Platform Installer, so just go to your Server 2016 box. This will also, by the way, work in Windows 10. Alright, so uh, what you want to do is uh, bring up a browser and search for Microsoft Web Platform Installer. Uh, and uh, right here you'll see it takes you to Microsoft.com slash web downloads platform.aspx install the extension. I've already done that so I'm going to skip that and then when you do the uh, after the install is done which takes five seconds the web platform installer comes up and from here it's pretty straightforward just click products you can scan through this or just type in WordPress in the top right hand corner highly suggest that click add click install Uh, this is a fresh server, so there's nothing on it, and it's, so it's suggesting, hey, let's use MySQL. Find the me. So uh, enter a password twice, which is just the uh, oh, screwed that up, which is just the uh, SQL database password. Sure, we'll save it so it's root and whatever password I entered. Click continue. This is showing me uh, or you or both of us what uh, what it's going to install. I could download them separately, but that would defeat the purpose. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just click um, uh, that I want to participate in the customer improvement program because I always want to do that. I want to keep making those Microsoft products better. Click I accept and it's going to roll through and it will install all that it needs to, including IIS. Uh, it will install my C it'll download and install MySQL, it will download and install WordPress. And then it's going to come up and ask me for my uh, website uh, name and so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to save you the time of watching this. Okay, so the install is done. That took about, um, oh, three or four minutes. And now it's asking for the uh, name of the site and uh, where I'd like to locate it. So I'm just going to put in my test WordPress WP and uh, click next or continue. Basic authentication information here. I don't believe any of these are actually required, but uh, I always put in something here in the authentication key. So I'm going to put in uh, something and then I'm going to uh, click continue so you can't see it because it is private. There it goes. Installing WordPress. I suggest you copy to clipboard and that you then go into your notepad and paste that information in. So that automatically takes us off to the website and asks us uh, basically for the WordPress install. So I click continue on English for me. You can choose your own if you'd like and then you enter your site information. So I'm going to go with um, my WP test. Username, let's go with uh, test user 17. Sure, that's a fine pa Actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's set that password. That's fine. My email address and then click install WordPress. Uh, you don't want to probably click this discourage search engines. Uh, that's just a setting inside of WordPress. You could undo it afterwards if you wanted, but um, if you'd like your website to be usable by, or searchable, findable uh, by others, then you're going to want to leave that in. And you click uh, install WordPress. Yeah, I accidentally double clicked on install, which I didn't need to do. So let's go to login. And at this point I'm done. It's just standard uh, WordPress setup from here. One last thing is uh, it's almost certainly going to install going to install an older version. So what you want to do is when you sign into the dashboard, just go to uh, update now. And it's going to ask you for FTP information. I don't have that handy because I haven't configured it yet. So I'm going to go another way, which is just to click the link here, update automatically. And I can download WordPress, download, save, save as. Sure, that's a fine location. View downloads. It's a zip file and it's from the web, which means I have to unlock it. I don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm going to unzip it. All right. I take those files and copy them. Hub. So I'm just going to copy them over top of this. 
while I'm waiting, I'm going to click on the uh, download counter for fun. Wow. So it's uh, downloaded about 72 and a half million times. Wow. And while we're still waiting, let's click on the um, installation guide. But basically all it says is back everything up and then uh, copy your files in. So where is that? Yeah, deactivate any plugins. I don't have any plugins. I just started the whole thing. So we're good to go. One thing to notice here is that um, when you go back to uh, sign in uh, afterwards, uh, you may have to upgrade the database. And if it is, it'll ask you. And then you just say yes and you're on your way. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.